keeping your sinks faucet clean. It sounds like a little thing, but it's an important step uh, you can take uh, in your kitchen to make sure that your water is as safe as possible. So how do you clean it? Let's find out. Heather Hale joins us now live. She has more. Heather. That's right, Don. Particles and sediment can get caught in that screen that's in your faucet, and that decreases the quality of your water. First, we're going to talk about why water board officials say that this is an important step to take. Some people don't know that sediment and particles can enter into the treated water as it travels through the distribution system on its way to their home, and the screen built into their faucet does its job and catches those particles. First, remove the faucet's end. It's important to note that some might need to be unscrewed with a tool. You just got to unscrew the aerator off of the, the spigot, and all you do is you can just pop the screen up out, and then you can clean it. Uh, if you can't get all the particles out by just running water back through it, then you just take a toothbrush and some vinegar and just clean it. That's all you got. Or you can drop it in the vinegar and let it sit for five minutes and then just put it back on. So it's, it's not difficult at all. Davis recommends that you clean out the aerator in your sink at least once a month. We've had instances where we actually went out uh, and somebody has tested for lead and it's been high. We go out to run sequential sampling, which is a series of tests, and we'll take the aerator off and it's jam packed full of stuff. Uh, so then when we run our samples, you know, we get lower values than what it really was because of the buildup in the screen. Before you clean it out, we'd like to see what the screen in your aerator looks like. So if you'd like, when you take it off, snap a picture and shoot us a Facebook message so we can see what will not be affecting the quality of your water anymore. Once you have your faucet back together, go ahead and turn that water on to check for any leaks. Reporting live from the WBOI Kitchenette here in Clarksburg, I'm Heather Hale for 12 News.